Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be going through the very straightforward process of baking our roughness map for this aircraft. This is the Lockheed Martin F117A for those interested. Go check out my socials for the final render. I'm quite proud of this one. I thought it came out quite nicely. What you can see here is I've already got the colour map baked out. In order to do this you first need to make sure you've UV unwrapped your piece. So as you can see here if we go to our UV editing workspace and I show you the colour for this uh, here so you can see here I've already baked out the color now that I'm in edit mode I can select a and you can see how these vertices align to the color on the image here this isn't a perfect unwrap this is not an unwrapping tutorial I do have one of those on my channel so please do go check that out this here is just for the baking process so you can bake with a pretty poor UV map although you may will likely get some overlapping and some uh, potential artifacts so for best results do the best unwrap and of course you want to make sure you're filling as much of this UV space as possible but as I said that's not a tutorial for today that's one for either before or later in order to do the actual baking what we need to do is take your um, model you need to ensure that you have your material selected that you want to bake so I've got my main material here I do have other materials, but those are attached to other objects. So what you can do is you can bake several materials onto a single UV map. So if I select both of these and go into edit mode, and we go to our UV editing workspace, you can see here that I haven't UV unwrapped this part here. Uh, so if I go into just the edit mode for this, select all with A and press U unwrap, you can see that this has unwrapped itself here like this. So what I can do is I can grab this and I can put use this to fill in this blank space here, making sure not to overlap with the color that's already on the texture. So that fits quite nicely. It's not an important piece. So really, this should be smaller than the actual aircraft color, but I'm not going for perfection with this piece. This is just a demonstration. So now everything is unwrapped, we can go back to our shading workspace. What we need to do is we need to create an image to bake onto. So we go Shift A, Texture, Image Texture, create a new one. I'm going to make this 1080, uh, 1024 times 2. I'm going to call this Roughness. I'm going to leave this black because if there's no data there, if there's no UV, then I don't want any data. It's pretty insignificant, but that's just a personal preference. Click OK. Do not connect this to anything. We don't want this connected. We don't want this affecting our model at all. Make sure it is the active object in each of the materials. So I'm going to, in this material, I've got it active here. And in my main object, I'm going to Shift A, add that image texture again. Go to here, open and make sure I've got roughness selected. Now that those are the active objects, I can open it in here. You can see that it's black. This is the image that we've got. I'm going to select both of these objects. Then we go into our render settings. You have to be in cycles for this to work using your GPU if you have one. You scroll down all the way to the bake tab. For this, I want the bake type to be roughness. I'm going to an image texture and that's all we need to do. Once we click bake, this might take a few seconds. And there we go. You can see here we have our roughness on our image here. That's perfect. So now what we can do is in theory, once I connect this roughness map to the roughness tab here, there should be little to no difference. There will be a difference because we're going from procedural which sort of has an infinite resolution almost, to this that only has a 2048 by 2048 resolution. But here you go, you can see that there is very little difference. Although where we've used a UV map, which was mirrored, you will see that there is a minor difference. Luckily on this, it doesn't matter too much, but there will be mirroring on the each wing and on each side of the aircraft for example thankfully 
this won't matter too much for this model in particular. If you want to do the same for the bump, then it's exactly the same procedure. So I'm going to create another image texture. So I'm going to go into new. Uh, that's already 2048. I'm going to call this bump. OK, I'm going to make sure it's the active object here. I'm not going to do a bump for the other object for the grating here. So I'm just going to do it for the main body. That's the active. I'm going to go back to our baking settings. And instead of roughness this time, I want the normal. So I'm going to create a normal map with this. Once again, go to here, click bump and bake. And now you can see that I've got that normal information going across the aircraft quite nicely. So again, once again, if we look at the wing here, get the light shining on that. In theory, this should be, if I go from here to a normal map, put that into the color, normal to normal, there's little to no difference. There is a loss in resolution once again, but now I can export this image out to other pieces of software. Be sure to save these images. They're not saved automatically. So you can either go here, image, save, and then just save it as bump.png. And again, for the roughness, so image, save as, or you can use the Alt S shortcut for that one. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more. And if you have any other tutorials you would like some help on, then please let me know. Thank you and see you later.